Sup, Pixel? Director Clavel? <laughs> oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha! -ha! So obvious. Come on. <laughs> I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uva Academy. Mr. Clavel! <laughs> so dramatic. N no way. Yeah, okay, I'll be. I'll play along. N no way. Yes, this must be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia. The no way! <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> I literally just said it can't be you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's impossible, is what I should say. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. No! I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. No, it wasn't you. You're covering for somebody. Okay, no, no, no. You're covering for somebody because you realize Star Squad is actually a bunch of bullied victims. And you don't want the blame to go to this Cassiopeia person. So you're covering for whoever it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it can't be you. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh yes, it was very clever. So Miss Pixel, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. To battle! <laughs> Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Ooh, what Pokemon do you have? You are challenged by Director Clavel. Look at that smirk. Oranguru. Uh, I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. I don't know what Pokemon you are. Uh, I don't know what element you are. Right? Yes! I just need to look, know what type it is. I don't need to look up anything else. I just need to know your type. What is an Ab- <laughs> Wow, I've never seen- Okay, Abama Snow? Oh, it's the- uh, Okay, okay, it's the- Is that the Bigfoot looking one? It sounds like it's a Bigfoot looking thing. Okay! Must be an ice type, right? Must be. Stars of snow. Oh no. Fire blast, go! Yeah. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe level 70 was a little too much. <laughs> Ooh, level up. Hold T Geist. Uh, I believe that one's psychic too. Hold on. Hold tea, guys. It's the teacup, right? I think it's the teacup. If it's the tea one that I'm thinking of, that means it's. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's psychic, which means I can just use. Shadow Ball. <laughs> and go first, because of Quick Claw. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's weak against Dark and Ghost. Pikachu. Houndoom. Ooh. Houndoom, I think, is fire and dark? It, wait, is it fire? I, or is it just dark? I think it's just dark. Right? Okay, either way, I should switch to Tinkerton. It's a ghost type? Oh, it's a ghost type. You and your right hound doom is ghost and fire. Oh, it's ghost and fire. Okay, because I was thinking Vaporeon or Tinkaton, but I already sent Tinkaton out. So. 
Oh, dark and fire. Mm. Okay, okay. Ah, shit. I should have. I should have sent away for it. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. I'll just do it again. It's fine. Fire blast. Mm. Take a time. Okay, good, good. Amoongus. Oh, which one is that one? Fire Blitz. Yes. Are you playing Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet as well? If you are, how far are you in the game? Quaquavel. Oh, that's the, the the salsa dancer one. Oh, you have that one, huh? I see. Totally gonna switch. We're gonna send out Pikachu. Go Pikachu. Oh, cool! I get to add it to my Pokedex. Shiny. Huh, to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Quaquavel. Very well. It seems I shall have to terratalize my Pokemon. Hey! How dare you before I do it. Although your Quaquavel has nothing on my Pikachu. I hope. <laughs> I nope, not played it. What do you think of this game? I think it's actually pretty fun, Cammy. I know people um, complained about it here and there. Ha! See? Territalize? Nothing on my Pikachu. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> um, it. I feel like with the newer Pokemon games, they do get easier, and I feel like it's a lot more hand holding, um, which is the frustration that I had in Pokemon Moon. Hold on, how strong you have grown. <laughs> um, but in this one... <laughs> well now, Miss Pixel. It seems you have grown quite splendidly, splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. However, Cassiopeia is settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. Oh, sorry. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is you. Surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I've come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Ah, no, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me, your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. Oh, it's the skunk Pokemon. A stunkies b behind? Ahem. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you, Miss Pixel. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no! Anything but that, I implore you. Shoot, I told you Cassiopeia is her! And it happens to be nighttime, so I guess we're doing this now. How did I know? It was so obvious. Thanks for coming. Told you it was Evie Backpack Girl. Ah! 
Actually, no. I actually don't know if it's a girl or a boy. They never actually said. So I should say they. <laughs> hey, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those team star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I just... Sorry, I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Not just yet. <laughs> let me save first. I didn't save. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me... Uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after... Ah, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Oh, okay, will do. Clive. Day and night in seconds. <laughs> then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. <laughs> she has an Umbreon! Ooh. Uh, dark is... I forgot. <laughs> what is Dark weak against again? Oh, I don't remember. We'll just do that for now. <laughs> oh, good. Not very effective. Awesome. Bye-bye, Embryon. <laughs> Your emote matches the song. <laughs> Have a banger theme. Yeah, this song is great. Vaporeon. Oh my god! Oh, she has all the evolutions. That's so cool. Okay. Well, I have a Vaporeon too, but... I'm not gonna use it now. Oh, and Bug. Oh, that's so cute! That makes sense because she has an Eevee backpack! And then... Oh. Your Vaporeon's gonna get pulverized by my Pikachu. Go, Pikachu. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Oh, and it's a critical hit. Good job. So proud. Ah, you did get hit by that, though. Flareon, switch! Flareon, you're gonna battle Vaporeon. Go! You're gonna fight your cousin. <laughs> uh, I feel like Surf is enough. Yeah, we good. No need for hydro pump. Jolteon. Switch! Tyranitar, you're back out. Go. So you know the DJ for Team Star? Yeah, the DJ! He trying to make a hell of a banger theme for their big boss, even though they do not see her. <laughs> or her team. Another sandstorm. Earthquake. Ooh. 
I like this one. Leafy on switch. Uh, the person who made the music for Undertale made these tracks. Whoa, really? Toby Fox? Wait, actually? Because the Undertale theme... Or, sorry, soundtrack was... Pretty bomb. Uh, you know what? Torch Song is enough to defeat you, I think. See? Bye bye, Leafium. Alright, what's your last one? I think there's one more. Not this game. Uh, Sin Sword and Shield. Oh, he, but he did other music in this game. He's made a track or two? Hmm. Sylveon. Sylveon is fairy type. Fairy types are weak against. But you're also a fairy. <laughs> okay. Okay, you got steel type moves. Use them, steel type moves. Oh, I say fighting? Oh, yeah, I don't have any fighting types uh, in this party. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Steel and poison. All right, it's gonna work. we're gonna do gigaton hammer. Even if you territorialize. Gigaton does 160 damage, so I should be good. Should be. <laughs> oh, but Sylveon's probably really pretty. Very cute. Very Sailor Moon-like. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty... Uh, and it's a critical hit. Probably did 200 damage. Fighting is weak to fairy. Oh. That hammer's made out of Corvan Knights, by the way. Is it? Corvan mm -hmm. Knight? Which one's Corvan Knight? It's all over now. I got 1,500... I mean, 15,000 Poke Coins? Holy, that's so much. Oh, I'm done the story. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Are they there? Are they watching? We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their ty tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stint might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us! Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. You don't have to say bye to them. You guys can still be friends. And then... What? That doesn't make any sense. You can still be friends with them and, like, not have Operation Star. Thanks for everything, Pixel. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss 
Uh, Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to code once again. Ugh, sorry. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No, what do your friends in the team mean to you? He probably invited them, and they're watching from, like, behind a pillar or something. <laughs> they're... They're my greatest treasure. Oh, that is so sweet. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Penny. That or Clive is still recording. <laughs> what? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha! Ah. <laughs> D- Director Cloud, she didn't know? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But... But why? <laughs> I needed a way to talk to Team Star in equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <laughs> Ahem. Well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? I told you, they're watching from the background. He probably told them to come. Ooh, cutscene with no voiceover. Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. Have you been this whole time? How have you been this whole time? Ordy. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Airy. Can we just get like a group hug? Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, they're gonna do the scar squat thing. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Uh -huh. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. Light? Right. Light? <laughs> and so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. 
I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. <laughs> They're like, oh. <"Aw." laughs> Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Ms. Pixel battling her way through your bases. The bases construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. <laughs> this may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. You would most happily have we would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This be this be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Pixel, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Huh? But, but, um, I just... No need to give your responses right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it is time to leave. Now they can be together forever! Miss Pixel, please stop by my office later if you would. Ah, here you are, Miss Pixel. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. H hello Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. <laughs> ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. <laughs> I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. I wasn't all that hu uh I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. <laughs> I'm not giving it back. <laughs> hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Pixel, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Pixel? Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. Meet up with Penny. Also, if they sell her bag... Oh, if they sold her bag, I would totally buy it. <laughs> Hasta la vista. The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. 
What happened? The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like, a weird amount. Apparently, I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but, um... The thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends, friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Oh, what's Draco Meteor? That sounds fancy. Comments are summoned down from the sky onto the target. The recoil from this move harshly look. I don't like recoil moves. I probably won't going to use it. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Pixel. But uh, be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Bye. Starfall Street. Complete! Yay! It's officially done.